Hi, this is Vicki with Breadcrumb Cooking, and let's make some French bread. I've got somebody I want to take a loaf to French bread to them, and I'm making pasta, so it's going to go good with our meal also. And I just like baking bread. Now, this is a yeast bread today. It's not a sourdough starter. It's a yeast bread, and it takes one tablespoon of yeast or one of these packages that contain a tablespoon of yeast. I've got five heaping cups of all-purpose flour, not self-rising, it's all-purpose. And I have a cup of warm water. Now guys, it's just warm. It's a little cooler than bath water. It's about 100 degrees. If you get your water too hot, you kill your yeast. And if you're having problems making bread, it's probably because your water's too hot. So we're gonna put that pack of yeast into our flour with one tablespoon of sugar. And on that, we're gonna add two cups of water, if I can get it into the bowl. Now, kind of let that yeast sit there and take in that sugar and let it start to bubble up. And let it, there it comes. Let me get the bowl up here where you can see it. That yeast sends up little pieces of yeast that's rising. That lets you know that your yeast is good, for one thing. And the other thing is, it's ready for you to go ahead and work in the rest of your recipe. Now I've got um, half a tablespoon of olive oil and two teaspoons of salt here that I'm gonna add in. As much of it as I can get out of this little cup. So what we've got in here right now is two cups of warm water, one tablespoon of yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, five heaping cups of all-purpose flour, that was two teaspoons of salt, and a half of a tablespoon of oil. And we're going to just incorporate that, and then we're going to work up our bread dough and let it rest for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to roll this into a couple of French bread loaves. My oven is preheating at 375 because actually this bread is pretty good to rise and get put together. I would say we've got an hour probably before we put it in the oven, so you probably don't have to turn on your oven just yet, but I went ahead and turned mine on. You see, I have more flour there than I need because I did the heaping cups, but I want flour in there to work up my dough. I'm gonna get that into a workable dough and then I'm gonna put this flour in the dough out on my mat and we're gonna knead the dough, knead the dough. All right, that's pretty good. Let's move my junk out of the way. We're gonna um, put our flour down on our mat or on your countertop or on your marble or whatever you're working with. There you go. I'll go ahead and put all that flour out because kind of got an overcast kind of rainy day. I'm hoping it's gonna rain, it's thundering. So it's a perfect day to be in the kitchen. I said I wasn't gonna be in the kitchen today. And somebody said, you, you must, your kitchen must be just full of food. It's really not. We've packed it out, sent it out, shared it. A lot of times we'll freeze it. And, and when I don't want to cook, then we'll pull something out. And that may be what happens with part of this. Now, isn't that pretty? It's coming up to something pretty. I'm gonna get my hands kind of cleaned off in my bowl over here. Get the yuckies off. All right, we'll go right down into it. Let's sprinkle a little flour on there and work that in. There's just such a comfort to working with bread dough. It's 
still got a little stickiness to it, so I'm still working in that, that extra flower that we put in there. Y'all hear my clock. <laughs> I thought, well, I probably should shut that off. And I thought, no, I love my clock. I'll just share it with you. I'm going to go over here and in my next video, we're going to make some wide egg noodles. And I've had some really interesting visits with some of y'all out there that are cooking and y'all are so accomplished. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm in awe of what all y'all do. And uh, I'll share some of that, some of those conversations with you in the, uh, in the pasta video that's coming up next, where we're gonna make the wide egg noodles to go in the pasta sauce that we made in the previous video. Well, that's pretty good, I'm liking that. We've worked up a pretty nice little dough there. Let's clean out our flour bowl a little bit. Get the yuckies out. We're just gonna go right back into this same bowl with this bread. And we're going to cover this for 30 minutes with a with a towel and just set it over in a warm spot in the kitchen. And in 30 minutes, I'll be back. We're gonna make out our French loaves. Well, we're back. We're making our French loaves. We've let this bread rest for 30 minutes in the bowl. And I've put some flour down on my surface here. And I'm gonna take one half of this dough and put it down on my mat. We'll work with that other half in a few minutes. So you can get your rolling pin out and roll this out flat if you want to. I'm just gonna kind of pat mine out and get it out in a kind of a flattish rectangle. Oh, I may have to get my rolling pin out. It's not padding out very well. Let's get that rolling okay, pin. I'm gonna put a little flour on my rolling pin and I'm gonna roll it and roll it into the shape that I want, which is kind of a rectangle. I'm going to start on this side with my dough and I'm going to roll it on itself. Kind of like you would a cinnamon roll. I'm going to roll this up. Alright, now I've got my long cylinder of bread like my French bread. And I'm gonna take the ends and I'm gonna tuck the end under. So you're taking that end that looks like a cinnamon roll and you're tucking it under. That's gonna give you the shape of the bread dough that you want. And I'm gonna go down and make three slashes in mine. It just gives it a little character. Now this can go on your cookie sheet for it to rise. It can go in a casserole pan. It can go into any dish that this will fit into that's oven proof. I have the fortunate luck to have my mother's French bread pan and I've put some olive oil down. So you wanna either spray your surface or whatever. The loaf pan like that, what it 
what's good about it is it lets that bread rise up instead of spread out because sometimes when you're working with a cookie sheet and it will still taste good so don't worry about that you know when you go to buy a loaf of french bread in the store but it's not it doesn't stand up tall every time sometimes they're kind of flattened out so we'll put down my second half of the dough we're going to make our second Get a little more flour on my on my rolling pin. I like this marble uh, rolling pin because I don't have to work. The rolling pin does the work. I'm not having to do the pressing in. And I'm all for lazy if I can get away with it. I'm doing enough, right? We're all doing enough. By the time you keep house and take care of everybody and fix meals, well, I make it hard. Getting out to that rectangle again. I love working with dough. It's just, it is fun. All right. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna roll it up. When I'm rolling it up, I'm kind of brushing a little bit of that extra flour off that I don't need so that it doesn't dry out my bread. Now we've rolled it all up and we're going to take the end that looks like a cinnamon roll and we're going to just fold it under. Same thing on the other end, looks like a cinnamon roll, just fold that under. Now you've got your cylinder of bread that's going to rise up and look more like a French loaf as it rises. I'm going to put in my three slashes and I'm going to put it in my greased pan. Now, I'm gonna let these rise up till they fill this pan up. And it may take more than an hour, or an hour may do it, we just don't know. Bread's different every time. Because the atmosphere in your kitchen has a lot to do with the baking of your bread. So sometimes you have to wait longer uh, for your bread to rise. So I'm thinking in about an hour, we'll be back and look at this bread that's all ready to go in the oven. And like I said, I have that oven preheating at 375. Okay, we've let this French bread loaves sit here and rise up. My kitchen's pretty warm, so that helped out quite a bit today. And um, they've doubled in size. We filled up our pan. And we're ready to pop these into 375 until they're golden brown. When I come back and take them out and show them to you, I'll tell you how long that it took for my oven to bake the spread. So our bread took 35 minutes at 375. Every oven's different. I thought that was longer than I expected, but that's what it took. And I've taken it out of the pan. It came out very easily. We had oiled that pan. And now you can put some butter on it if you want. I'm going to put some olive oil brushed on top of mine. I like the glossy look that it gives the bread. Maybe you like the uh, flour, like this one. Maybe that's the way you like to see your French bread. So just do it the way that pleases you when you're the you're the cook, you're the boss in the kitchen, right? Let me get this done. I'm gonna slice into one of these. I know that Joe's on his way home, so we're gonna slice into one. So, crusty. All right, it's a little hot to hold. Woo, it's hot. But there you have it, guys. Nice and flaky on the inside, nice and crusty on the outside, just the way you want your French bread to be. So, this is Vicki with Bread Crumb Cooking.
I hope if you enjoy these videos that you will subscribe and share. Thank you.